Greetings everyone. So in this video, I'll have a comparison on the 28 pin version and the 32 pin version of the TPA3118 module to know their differences because the datasheet clearly says it should be a 32 pin IC, not 28. So starting by the looks of it, this one is the gold series version which is slightly bigger than the other version with bigger IC, bigger inductor, and two diodes in parallel on its power input for the reverse polarity protection. So the gold series looks and feels premium than this one as expected. Since I already did a review on this 28 pin version months ago, I will focus on the gold series version starting with the sound quality. So the only thing I notice is that it has a lower gain than the 28 pin version but it's actually because of the PCB design. So the gold series version has a 1 kilo ohm resistor on its input to ground while the other version doesn't have one. Of course, you can remove that 1K resistor if you want. Both of them just sound the same after all. Now proceeding with the power test. Same setup as usual. 1kHz sine wave input with 4 ohms load measurement until the output clips. By the way, these are the values I got when I tested this 28 pin version months ago. Now starting with the 12 volts input for the test, there's clipping. So I got 7.48 volts RMS, square that, divided by 4 ohms load, and we have almost 14 watts RMS of power. Now with the 16 volts of input, there's clipping. I got 9.86 volts RMS, square that divided by 4 ohms load and we have 24.3 RMS at only 16 volts. Now with the 20 volt supply, there's clipping. So I got 12 volts RMS, square that, divided by 4 ohms load and that is 36 watts RMS of clean power. But after just a minute at 20 volts, it goes into protection mode because of too much heat. It is normal to heat up that much because I'm giving it a continuous sine wave input signal. But with normal music, it can easily handle 4 ohms load even at 24 volts of input. So I didn't measure continuous power at 24 volts, so I tried to measure it with 2 ohms load at 12 volts and I got 19 watts RMS at 2 ohms load while 2 ohms load at 16 volts goes into protection right away which is a good thing since this 28 pin version doesn't have those kind of protections that's why I burned my other 28 pin module for just testing 2 ohms load. When it comes to temperature, they both have the same heat intensity but take note that the gold series version here has a higher power output than the 28 pin version. It means that the 32 pin version is more efficient than the 28 pin version which makes it suitable with battery powered speakers. 
So here are the power values I got with these two versions. So in conclusion, the Gold series is way better in almost all aspects. For the price, I bought this Gold Series version at around 1.5 USD, just 20% higher than this 28-pin version. By the way, this is not a sponsored product, but if you want to buy this 32-pin version, I'll put a link in the video description below. So that will be all. If you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, give it a like and we'll do something else for the next one.